Hello? My name is Shelby Harris, and this is presentation three. It's over fitness and nutrition. I'm a junior at Tarleton State University, and I'm a marketing major. I'm particularly passionate about fitness and nutrition, um, and I believe that it is something that should be at the top of one's priority list. Through this presentation, we'll be going over my journey, tips and misconceptions of fitness, tips and misconceptions of nutrition, and what I noticed when I made the change. Okay, so I started my journey a couple years ago, back in 2017. Um, I made a change in my health to feel better internally. It just so happens that I lost 100-ish pounds along the way. And um, I did this by mainly cutting out junk food, <laughs> making a change in my <clears throat> health choices and my exercising routine. It was difficult at times, um, and I slipped up, but that's only because forming good health habits are very hard because your body is addicted to things such as salt, fat, and sugar. This is my transformation. Um, the two pictures on the left are me two years ago, and then the picture on the right is me a couple weeks ago. Okay, so many people are not excited about the exercising portion of health, um, but I'm gonna tell you that it doesn't take a lot more, and it doesn't take as much as you think it will. Um, in fact, your health is maintained by 80% nutrition and 20% exercising. Um, so you can still lose weight with just switching your eating habits, habits, but you still wanna add that fitness in there to get your endurance up and just stay overall healthy. Um, so it also doesn't have to take up a huge portion of your life exercising. Um, you can literally add 15 minutes three to seven days. Some people just do it a couple days. It's really mainly what you can work into your schedule. And um, there's no need to spend two hours at a gym every day. I recommend HIT uh, workouts for any of you that hate running. It stands for high intensity interval training. Um, it gets lots of cardio and builds endurance and burns a lot of calories in a small amount of time. Um, Another way to get all those things in is running. Um, it doesn't burn as much calories, but it is a great way to build endurance and get your cardio in. These are uh, typically your three phases of, oops, of fitness. Um, shedding is first. You wanna shed all that body weight off, um, your fat. Um, toning and bulking can be interchangeable. Typically, uh, a lot of girls don't like to bulk um, but if you did want to do, if you did want to do that, um, you would want to do that after you've shed, after you toned up a little bit, and then really start on the bulking phase. Okay, this is an example of a hip workout. Uh, it's all with your body weight, and I find that really accessible um, because you don't need a gym. And when I started out, I didn't step foot in a gym. I used um, my own body weight for workouts just like these. You can see. We have squats, mountain climbers, push-ups, high knees. It's a full body workout that you repeat. And it usually takes anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes. It just depends on how good shape you're in. Okay, so here's some fitness misconceptions. Um, you have to work out every day to get results. Like I mentioned earlier, this is not true. Just adding a couple days of exercising, 15 to 30 minutes, will um, make a difference. Um, your workout does not have to be one hour to two hours long. I'm never in the gym for two hours long, and I'm typically not in the gym for an hour. Um, you don't need gym equipment or a membership to see results and to lose weight and to get healthy. Um, like I said, I didn't do any of that. Uh, I didn't use gym equipment. I didn't have a membership. I just used my own body weight. Running is not the only way that you can get cardio in. Like I mentioned, the hit, And the last two kind of go hand in hand. I'm too out of shape to even try. Or, um, 
uh, you that you can't do anymore. Um, self motivation. You can always do more, and you just have to push yourself to take that first baby step. Uh, if you if you're doing a workout and you think you can't do any more, add one more rep or add one more set. You can always do more. Okay, so nutrition tips. Many people struggle with this portion the most because I do not know what it's doing. Because they there's a lot of people that don't know what is actually good and what is actually bad. Um, I always tell people eat as natural as you can. You know, cut down on your package package food, this will cut down on chemicals and preservatives and sugar. And like I said, stay away from added sugars. You can always look at that nutrition label to find out if there are added sugars. Um, don't cut out any macros, which are your proteins, carbs, and fats. Um, you need all of those things. And I tell people not to count calories. It usually forms bad eating habits and can just be damaging to the mind. Um, cut down on bread and dairy. I did that. If you're doing keto, you know, you're going to be uh, intaking a lot of dairy. If keto works for you, that's great. Um, keto is awesome. And then the cut down on bread, you know, your body needs carbs, but with fruits and vegetables, you're already getting a lot of your carb intake. And then drink lots of water. Um, I always tell people drink a cup of hot or cold water glass of water in the morning first thing with some lemon juice it kickstarts your metabolism because your body has to warm up or cool down that glass of water which actually burns calories kind of wakes your metabolism up and then don't reward yourself too much so a lot of um, misconceptions of nutrition are I can't eat anything bad for me again that's not true I have a burger and fries on the weekend or a pizza, you know, big wine drinker, just balance is key. Um, you can always find a healthy option at restaurants. Fast food is a little bit more difficult, um, but at sit down restaurants, there will always be a healthy option and you can still maintain your health while eating out. Um, like I said, you know, don't reward yourself at the end of every day for eating good with a brownie or a burger. Like, um, save yourself for the weekends. Um, you know, this helps with creating good eating habits. Labels do not say all about what the food is. Um, labels are often very misguiding um, in regards to telling you that they might be healthy, but in fact they aren't. Atkins is an example. I think they're okay now, but the old Atkins diet didn't have any carbs in it. So when people were consuming only Atkins products, they were having a carb deficiency and they got really sick. Um, so always look at that nutrition label. Um, if one diet worked for this person, it will work for me. That's not true. Keto is a great diet. However, my body did not like it and it did not respond to it. So I switched to my old ways, low fat diet. Um, like I said, you don't have to count calories or track macros and um, you do need <laughs> fats and carbs to fuel your body. So what changed for me? My hair and my nails got stronger. I got more energy. Uh, I feel better internally. I was able to stop taking my anxiety medication because uh, exercising and nutrition has a huge impact on your mental health. And I can be a part of more activities and my back problems went away, so that's a plus. Um, that's what I have to share with you today and I hope this helps you with your journey. Thank you.